Medusa Gorgon was a hideous creature living in our lands. For a time, she was considered one of the most beautiful women in the world until she was cursed by the higher powers. And since then, instead of hair on her head, there were snakes sprawling out. And her gaze instantly turned to stone anyone who dared look into the cold eyes of this hideous creature. For many years, she has been instilling fear in local residents. The Gorgon was defeated only due to one man's smart idea, covering himself with a shield that had a smooth, mirror-like surface. He was able to approach the danger of death so close that the Gorgon, looking at the Daredevil's shield, saw her own reflection and turned herself to stone. After that, the Gorgon's body was sealed in the temple, and her spirit was imprisoned in the mirror of that shield. But nothing has changed. Anyone who unknowingly comes too close to the shield is turned into a stone statue. Even being in the mirror world, Gorgon has continued to enchain human souls into stone while waiting for a chance to destroy her prison. For centuries, there have been pilgrims who, by accidentally wandering into the temple, have become other victims of the Gorgon spirit. And then you came along. And with the freed spirit, if we assume that the ancient warning is true, then if the spirit of the Gorgon manages to find and connect with her petrified body, Before the last ray of the sun, the creature will regain strength, more powerful than ever, and we shall face certain death. The Gorgon will be thirsty for revenge. We have so little time. What do we do? Can it be prevented somehow? Well, we must go to the Gorgon Temple and hope that her spirit hasn't found the place yet. If I recall it correctly, all the related information was, but we don't have any time to spare. But the temple is behind the dark forest, and at this time of day, the poisonous bats wake up and start hunting for prey. We'll turn to Kazian. He has special crystals that scare them off very well. Hello, Kazian. <laughs> I'll get straight to the point. Are you taking any measures to stop the spirit of the Gorgon? We are, but I don't have time nor, frankly speaking, desire to report on them. But would you still let us help you? Well, we want to get to the temple, but in order to do so, we really need crystals to go through the dark forest. Two teenagers and an old man against an ancient beast? I get it. You want to top off the temple's galley with three new statues. Well, it's your choice. Here's the key. Crystals are in the treasury. Just don't get in my way.
It looks like this is the place. I saw this building in my dream. But the entrance is sealed. What's that green liquid? It's everywhere. Well, they say that this is nothing more than poison trickling down from the snakes on the head of that terrible woman. And apparently even the petrified snakes of the Gorgon still excrete. And what exactly are we looking for? Well, there is supposed to be a library somewhere here in the temple. And if there is some way to stop the re... Look! What a sword! Let's take it, just in case. Hmm, one of the sections is closed. I think the most valuable information must be there. We'll need to get inside. Thank you. 
Roger, Albert, where are you? Yes, Alice. What's wrong? Are you okay? It was just a feeling, I guess. I saw some shadow and remembered how I was once hiding from the darkness.
Roger. Roger, hold this. Let the sword be with you for now. With the exception of some details, unfortunately I do not see anything that could prevent the spirit of the Gorgon from reuniting with her body. No way to stop her? No. But here's what's peculiar. That special reflective material that was applied to the surface of the warrior shield. In the book, they call it Merarium. Will we make a similar reflective surface? No. No, that way we'll end up with the same situation as we had the last few centuries. People will continue being turned to stone by accidentally. There is a large spiral staircase in the hall just above the petrified Gorgon body. If we manage to get Merarium 
then we will try to enclose the spirit into it, just like a mirror prison. We must do it immediately after the spirit reconnects with our body. But first, we need to figure out how to melt the metal which we'll spill on top of the Gorgon right from those stairs. But we can't waste any time. Our last hope will fade away with the last ray of sunshine. And where do we find this murarium? The book says that it was produced not far from here, in the mines. The problem is the poisonous rivers don't reach those territories. And that's where the reign of the dark forces begins. I'll go there. Out of all of us, I'm the only one who's able to resist the darkness. Well, my dear, if you say so. Now let's get back to my place. That's where the shortest path to the entrance of the mine starts. But the pot in which we'll melt the substance better be prepared now. It's ready. Now let's run to my place. Alice, I'll show you the shortest way, and from there... How exactly do I get to the mines? Climb down through my window, then carefully cross over the river. Mirarium, how much should I bring? According to the records, we need just a little bit. It can be mixed with other molten metal. Of course, in certain proportions. So I'll try to figure out all the details while you're gone. <laughs> 